Hello friends, welcome back to another episode of It's About Everything. So in today's episode, I'm going to show you how you can make fan blade in the simplest way possible. So to do this, I have uh, used a bottle cap, uh, especially a ketchup, uh, tomato ketchup bottle cap, and a few ice cream sticks. So I have cut uh, the top portion of the tomato ketchup bottle, and then I uh, give it the shape of a cross as you can see on your screen and then I uh, used this ice cream sticks to make the blades so I sliced the top portion of this ice cream sticks using my cutter and that top portion becomes the blade So I'm going to use super glue to fix this wooden uh, ice cream sticks on the edge. Now after I have given the shape of the cross, as you can see I have heated the edge and then using a plier I gave it a little bit of twist, a pitch for the blade and then I used a small pin and I used uh, a small candle and heated the pin and then I poke. A hole in the middle of that plastic piece and the diameter of that hole is same as the shaft of the DC motor so the center part this yellow part is the main thing and it easily fits on the motor So the rest of the part is very simple the only thing that you have to do is you need to find a bottle cap and then give it a shape like this cut the top portion the cap uh, top portion of the cap and then give it a shape like this so I'm, I'm, I'm making a four blade uh, fan so that's why I made it across if you want to uh, make three blade then you can uh, give it the shape of a Y so now I'm going to use super glue and glue it on the edges. So I'm going to do that off screen because it's going to uh, be very tricky and it's going to take about 10 or 15 minutes I believe because the super glue actually it spills a lot and as I'm gluing plastic to wood so the super glue just spilled over the wood and it stuck into my fingers so be careful use a glove or if you are not using glove then careful while applying the super glue onto this blade so now I'm going to keep it uh, for some time to dry up because I've used a lot of super glue because the super glue has to hold the uh, wooden uh, fins on the center part and it has to be strong enough to overcome the centripetal force. So here as you can see I'm blowing into the uh, blades and it's rotating. So the pitch that I've given to it is perfect. So now I'm going to attach it to the motor. So the DC motor, the 5 volt DC motor that I have shown you earlier, uh, at the beginning of the video that motor was not spinning fast enough. So I'm going to connect it to the DC motor, 12 volt DC motor, uh, 12 volt DC motor, and then try it out. So it it uh, it spins fast enough. So there you can hear the sound of the wind on the microphone and the super glue is holding. So when you make the center part you need to heat each and every uh, section uh, of the blade uh, joining section joining head of the plastic uh, center part and then using a plier to give it the pitch. So 
so twisting the plastic head uh, gives the pitch of the blade so this is the basic design and in bigger blades uh, both the parts are made out of metal and they are uh, joined together with the help of uh, rivets but here I used uh, super glue you can also use epoxy epoxy glue is much better than super glue so if you are making a bigger size blade then use uh, epoxy glue and try to make the center part uh, using metal or any other strong material There you go this is the simplest this is the simplest way you can make a fan blade so this was it guys i hope you enjoyed this video so hit the like button and subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends so thanks a lot for watching i'll see you later have a nice day